Welcome to Toto Adventure. ABC on the Sea. In the ocean's deep where wonders lie, let's learn our letters. You and I, from A to Z, we'll sail and see the creatures that dwell in the deep blue sea. A is for anchor, firm and strong, finding ships where they belong. B is for beaks and D and wide, where seagulls soar and waves collide. C is for clownfish, bright and bold, swimming among the coals, a sight to behold. D is for dolphin, graceful and free, leaping through the waves. E is for eel sleep, E is for real slithering sleep, hiding in crevices shy and meek. F is for fish, in color so bright, dotting through the water with all their might. G is for goldfish, inside in ponds and bowls, gliding with delight. H is for hermit crab, with a shell to bear, roaming the ocean floor with utmost care. I is for island surrounded by sea of paradise, where one longs to be. J is for jellyfish drifting with ease, their graceful movements a gentle tease. K is for kelp, swaying below, a forest for creatures to come and go. L is for linefish with spines so grand In tropical waters they make their stand N is for mermaid, myth of the sea With flowing hair and a spirit wild and free N is for narwhal with its spiral horn In icy water O is for moctis, clever and sly With tentacles reaching far and high is for pufferfish puffing with fright A defense mechanism when feeling a slight Q is for queen conch, a shell so fine Adorning beaches, a treasure divine R is for rainbow fish, shimmering bright With scales that glitter in the light S is for starfish with arms spread wide Adorning the seabed like a colorful guide T is for turtle, slow and steady, in the ocean blue, always ready. U is for urchin, spiky and round, hiding in crevices, safe and sound. B is for velvet, crabs bubbling near, in rocky pools without a fear. W is for well, majestic and grand, in vast ocean they pull the land. X is for x-ray, fish see through and clear, an idea of the sea both far and near. Y is for yacht, flying on the sea, with sails unfurled, roaming free. And finally Z is for zebra fish, striped with flair, in tropical waters they dance without a care. From anchor to zebra fish, the ocean's vast, a world of wonders meant to last. Hey there kids, let's have some fun with fruits and veggies one by one. From apples to zucchinis, we'll learn and play. In a fruity veggie kind of way With every letter a tasty treat From crunchy carrots to kiwi sweet So let's sing along without delay To the ABCs of fruits and veggies Hooray! A is for apple, crispy and sweet Eat it raw, bake it, it's always a treat
is for quince, fragrant and tough. Cook it into jam or bake, it's never enough. R is for radish, crisp and spicy. Eat it raw or bake it, it's a treat a lot. Q is for S is for strawberry, red and sweet. Eat it fresh or blend it into a salad beef. T is for tomato juice. Corners, it's like a game. Stack 
you up or lay you flat Square, square, how about that? Oh square, square, you're so neat Perfect for building strong and sweet with blocks Or a picture frame Square, you're in our hall of fame Shapes, shapes everywhere In the sky or on the chair Learning them is so much fun Circle, square, triangle and rectangle Everyone Triangle, triangle Three sides you've got pointing up High like a mountain top One, two, three corners, you're unique Triangle, triangle Let's take a peek Oh, triangle, triangle, you're the best With you, we'll cast every test Climbing up or sliding down Triangle, you're always around Shapes, shapes everywhere In the sky or on the chair Learning them is so much fun Circle, square, triangle and rectangle Everyone. Rectangle, rectangle, longer than wide Two short sides and two long, oh my Perfect for doors or a book Rectangle, let's take a look Oh, rectangle, rectangle, you're so grand like a door or picture stand With your shape so true and strong Rectangle You belong Shapes, shapes everywhere In the sky or on the chair Learning them is so much fun Circle, square, triangle and rectangle Everyone So let's dance and sing Don't you see? Learning shapes is easy peasy From circles to squares And triangles too Shapes are awesome and so are you Hi everyone It's Toto here and I'm in my magical garden Today we're going to learn about numbers by counting some incredible bugs and birds Are you ready? One. One little caterpillar munching on a leaf. One. Now, let's count to two. Spot the shiny beetles crawling on the tree. One. Two. Two busy beetles exploring the garden. Did you know beetles come in many colors? Two. Moving on to number three. Look up, and you'll see three blue birds, flying in the sky. One, two, three. Blue birds bring melodies to our garden. Isn't that lovely? Three. Next is four. Wow, see the dragonflies zooming around the garden. One, two, three. Four. Four dazzling dragonflies dancing in the air. Did you know, they're excellent flyers? Four. Let's find number five. Ah, oh, there's the earthworm wriggling in the soil. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five earthworms helping the plants grow. They're like nature's gardeners. Five. Now, let's buzz to number six. Here comes a busy honeybee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six honeybees buzzing here and there. They collect sweet nectar to make yummy honey. Six. Next to the number seven. Spot the colorful butterflies fluttering around. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Seven butterflies gracefully dancing. Did you know? Each butterfly has unique patterns on its wings. Seven. Jumping to number eight. Look, there's a grasshopper leaping on the bush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight grasshoppers hopping around. Did you know they're excellent jumpers? Eight. Let's find number nine. Oh, there's a ladybug with its bright red shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ladybugs crawling on the leaves. Did you know they bring good luck? Nine. Finally, we reach ten. Watch the busy ants marching in a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ants working together. Did you know? Ants are excellent team players. Friends, shall we tell all the numbers once again? Come join me! One, caterpillar. Two, beetles. Three, birds. Four, dragonfly. Five, earthworm. Six, honeybee. Seven, butterfly. Eight, grasshoppers. Nine, ladybug. Ten, ants. And that concludes Toto's Garden Counting Adventure. Wasn't that fun, little friends? We learn numbers by counting some amazing garden creatures. Join us next time for more exciting adventures with Toto. Bye-bye. Hello, young adventurers. Welcome to our amazing journey on the Guest the Munch. I'm Toto, and today, we'll be meeting some incredible animal friends. Get ready to discover what they love to munch on. Are you excited? Let's jump in. Our first friend is the mighty lion. Roar! Now, what do you think the lion prefers to munch on? Juicy watermelons. Crunchy leaves. Or meat. What's your guess? Meat! You're right! Lions are carnivores! And they love meat! Next up, meet the charming panda! Ah, look at those black and white fur balls! What do pandas enjoy munching on? Can you guess? Is it... Bamboo shoots? Chocolate cupcakes? Or grilled cheese sandwiches? Bamboo shoot! Yes! You are correct, pandas love their bamboo treats! Our next friend is the adorable koala! Look at those fluffy ears! Now, what do you think a koala's favorite snack is? Eucalyptus leaves? Jelly beans? Or ice cream? Take a guess! Eucalyptus leaves! You're absolutely correct! Koalas love munching on those tasty eucalyptus leaves. Now, let's say hi to the graceful giraffe. Look at that long neck! What do you think a giraffe loves to nibble on? Is it tree leaves? Pizza slices? Or rainbow-colored cupcakes? Green leaves! You're a super kid! Giraffes enjoy snacking on the leaves from tall trees. Meet the energetic elephant! With that long trunk, what do you think an elephant loves to snack on? Peanuts. Watermelon. Or 
or spaghetti and meatballs? What's your guess? Peanut! You're absolutely right! Elephants adore these crunchy peanut treats. Now, let's dive into the world of the wise owl. What do you think an owl craves during its nighttime adventures? Is it mice, rainbow-colored lollipops, or pancakes? Mice! You're right on target. Owls are skilled hunters and enjoy a nice mouse snack. Meet the cheerful penguin waddling in the icy lands. What do you think a penguin's go to snack is? Fish, snow cones, or hot chocolate? What's your guess? Fish! You're sliding smoothly into correctness. Penguins love a fishy feast. Fantastic job, little feast explorers! You've unveiled the delightful tastes of some extraordinary animals. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, stay curious and keep those taste buds tingling. Bye bye friends.